Hello everyone and welcome to your love scope for March 1st through March 15th, 2017. Um, I'm going to do these love scopes a little different um, at some suggestions of viewers. Um, first of all, the three decks that I'm using for your love scopes are going to be The Whispers of Love by Angela Harfield and Josephine Wall. I'm also using the Tarot of Dreams deck by Soro Marchetti and the Romance Angels by Doring and Virtue. Also, I am separating this into three different categories and these will be time stamped. I am going to draw the Tarot of Dreams and the Romance Angels for um, as the main reading and I will then do three different readings on that separating it into what I'm calling super singles and what I mean by super singles is you are not um, physically interacting or committed to anybody you could be completely single where you're not thinking about anybody you don't have any interest there's absolutely no romance going on in your life or you could be super single in the fact where there is no romance taking place but um, maybe you like somebody or you're still thinking about a past relationship okay it's just there's no real romantic activity uh, transpiring in the physical right now so that is the super singles category the next category will be singles which are for those of you who are casually dating around um, there's people in your life in a romantic way um, but what is different is there is no verbalized commitment to any particular individual even if you are dating um, people or a very specific person okay there's just there's no real commitment there yet and then finally is going to be couples and that uh, speaks for itself there is a verbalized commitment you guys could be uh, just starting to to be in a serious relationship or you maybe you just got committed or you could be married you could be living together it's just you are coupled up and that's understood on both sides so I'm gonna um, segregate it that way to make it easier for everybody who's watching and to ensure that everybody uh, regardless of their situation gets a message personalized to them based on your requests so uh, each category will be time stamped. I'm starting with the super singles first so whatever category you fall into go ahead and go to the description box below and click on your time stamp. Otherwise I hope you all have a very beautiful and blessed uh, first half of March. Take care. Hey Cancer Super Singles. So first message coming through the strongest for those of you who um, are there's nothing going on in your physical uh, life right now in regards to love and romance. What I have here is that um, you guys are broken up from whoever you love. And that's why you're single. That's why you're not dating anybody else. That's why there's nothing else going on, okay? You and somebody very important to you have split up and I feel as though based on the cards here this was a very long-term relationship okay now if you're not physically broken up this separation I feel is uh, about well of course you're physically broken up what am I saying <laughs> um, this this is so this is so crazy. Okay. So I see you up in the crown. We have the nine of swords, which you're really worrying about this separation. It's um, heavy on your mind. Okay. And uh, I feel like this goes both ways. Some of you um, are the reason you ended the relationship. You knew it was just it no longer viable for you. Now, others of you, you don't want this relationship to be over with, okay? So this is like 50-50 here. And at the foundation, we have the Eight of Cups reversed. So this is like a return. 
somebody coming back to you or you going back to somebody and with the ten of cups being in the recent past this is a relationship that is very it had been very long standing you may even have had um children together okay but these first two weeks of march um i feel as though you guys are going to be discussing this is with this eight of cups this return of energy and this ace of swords um there's you guys are going to have communications if you haven't been speaking to each other there's going to be some communication between you and this person these first two weeks of um march now the way that this turns out is quite differently because this says stay optimistic about your love life. So you're separated from who you love and spirit is saying instead of worrying, I'm, you know, be optimistic about your love life. And then here's this heart to heart conversation. But the outcome is this reversed eight of pentacles, which is uh, saying you know pretty much one thing to me it's giving up it's abandoning something that you've put a lot of work and energy into okay um for some you might um actually be leaving your job that might be where this person's at so you're leaving your job you're finding a new job to get away from it but nonetheless the strongest energy for you super singles um is of a past relationship that just I feel like it's kind of a more recently ended thing but it was a very long standing relationship and through a heart to heart conversation I just I don't feel like there's a reconciliation between the two of you and this stay optimistic is more prompting you to let go of worry and any sort of heartache because there's another relationship out there for you but right now it's just too fresh for you to even think about that or consider that you're still kind of you know caught up in the energy of this past relationship and that's why you are single at this time and there's closure that still needs to be to happen and a final severing of ties because with the foundation being this return um either somebody's coming back to you wanting to work it out or you are trying to go back to somebody to work it out and there is this conversation that's taking place but again I don't really feel as though that you guys are going to reconcile this relationship I think you guys are both going to decide to let it go okay um, for others of you that that does not um, resonate with I feel as though you're single because um, there is somebody that you are interested in, that you want to be with, um, and you're separated at this time. Now, I feel for this situation, this isn't like a romantic relationship that, had, that broke up. This is somebody you know, um, probably... Uh, maybe all the way from childhood or just you've known for a very long time this could be a, a friend but you guys are not together in a romantic way in this moment and um, for some it's like for the first time you're starting to see them in this romantic light or they're starting to see you or you guys are equally at the same time seeing each other in a romantic light like there's brand new energy that is coming into um, this relationship this long-standing relationship and it's no longer just going to be like a business relationship or just a friendship that energy is changing because you guys have this conversation and you realize they like you or they realize you like them or you realize the feeling is mutual and that changes the dynamic of the relationship from just being a like a professional relationship or a friendly relationship to something much more okay so um, for those of you who are super single um, definitely some opportunity for love and romance coming your way these first two weeks of March. Um, I really feel that uh, there's going to be a lot of communication um, 
with whatever this new opportunity is, okay? There's going to be a lot of communication, and you might have a lot of worries about um, getting with a very specific person, but you really shouldn't. Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, so I'm going to pull a Whispers of Love Oracle card to offer you super singles, even further advice from Spirit on these first two weeks of March 2017 in regards to love and romance. Okay. Hmm. Be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. So no matter where you stand in the scenarios that I have um, mentioned, make sure that you guys are being honest to the person you're dealing with, um, but also that you're being honest and true to yourself, okay? If, if it's time to really walk away from a relationship that has already broken up even if that person is trying to come back to you you know it's time to end it and really sever those ties do it okay do not be afraid be authentic to who you are very important this first two weeks of march okay no matter what scenario or situation you fall into and express how you feel okay heart to heart conversation tell the truth about how you feel don't hold back it will not do you any favors to do so especially with this ace of swords this is the truth card right here okay so you may be finding out some truths but i feel this is more you expressing your truths and your feelings about somebody be very authentic to who you are and you know don't let anything deter you from that okay so that's what I have for you super single cancers I hope that that helped and brought you some clarity and guidance for this first two weeks of March and I hope that this first two weeks of March is very beautiful and blessed take care okay cancer singles um, I feel for you guys you have a friendship or relationship that is quite long standing and you are separated from this person at this time and I think that it's because they may live in a different state or country than you do okay and um, I get that the energy between the two of you is um, really good I don't get like this is a, a serious, uh, re like, romantic tie. Even though the Ten of Cups is sitting there, I feel like this is somebody you've known for a long time. And now there's this new um, energy that's come into the relationship where you are seeing them in a new light or they're seeing you in a new light, but uh, they live in a different place than you. And uh, I really think that you are making the decision or they're making the decision to um, come see you or you go see them. And I feel like even though there's a really good vibe between the two of you, you have some worries about the distance that exists uh, physically. And um, you guys need to really talk about that because... To me, it looks as though one of you is going to be willing to relocate, okay? This is the Eight of Pentacles. This is where you've put in a lot of time and energy into something. And as showing as the Pentacles, this feels like a job, uh, your house, your home, all of that. Like, there is a willingness to give this up, to relocate, to be with this individual or them to relocate to be with you and you just you really need to believe that and not worry about it you need to put yourself out there and explain how you feel you need to have this conversation with them because I really believe the feeling is mutual and um, one or the other is going to make the decision to relocate so very strong message um, for others of you the basis of your reading is the Eight of Cups reversed. So um, some of you, there could be a past relationship 
uh, coming back into your reality this first two weeks of March where um, you guys are going to have this heart to heart conversation. But I don't get the sense that this is uh, to reconcile the relationship and have another go round at it. This I really feel that you both are going to decide to abandon the relationship entirely. Um, it's like a, a final severing of ties. So this is more of like a reckoning more than a reconciliation, okay? This is like the closure so that you can really move forward, okay? And this might be heavy on your mind, this person, but if you have this conversation, it's it just allows you to let go and move on much easier than the struggles that you may have been having in the past, okay? Um, for some, I guess this could be where you and a past relationship are going to reconcile, but I really, really don't feel that. I don't. Um, I feel like this is more of a conversation to clear the energy because... Um, there is something else on the horizon, okay? Um, as far as, like, new love coming in these first two weeks, I really, I'm not getting that either. This is more about wrapping up an old situation or um, allowing yourself to see and believe in a situation where somebody lives in a different uh, state or country than you that, yes, it can work out and one of you or the other is going to be willing to relocate, okay? So that's the main messages that I have for singles in regards to love and romance. Not a whole lot of new, uh, brand new love energy coming in. More of us clearing out the past. So let's see what the whispers of love have to say. Um, further guidance and clarity for you as single cancers out there. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. So um, this really speaks to either situation, whether you have somebody that lives in a different location than you. Yes, be patient. You guys, one or the other is going to move. Um, for those of you who are really wanting like a, something new to just show up like a, you know, like a bolt of lightning, um, have patience, okay? Uh, like I said, you you guys are, some of you are clearing like some old energy and there's like a cycle that is completing and this, since this is showing us the cups, this is like a emotional cycle and then the return of this energy, it's like the completion. <clears throat> this first two weeks is the completion so that you can move forward and release this energy of the past, okay? So... Have patience with yourself and be kind and loving with all involved. Be optimistic, okay? And just know that what's meant to be will be, okay? So have a very beautiful and blessed first half of March. Take care. All right, this is for cancer couples. <clears throat> um, now... We have the separation card here, but then we also have this Eight of Cups, so we have this return. Uh, first and foremost, definitely somebody has a loved one in the military or um, has been away on business travel for quite some time, or your romantic partner lives in a different location than you do, whether that be a different state or different country. Okay, and uh, this first two weeks of... March, I see a return. I see somebody coming home or I see you going to see your lover or they're, them coming to see you. There's a return of energy here, okay? But with that return of energy, it's like a brand new beginning, okay? And the old way of um, interacting and being is changing and it's being abandoned. It's like um, this time apart has changed both of you even if it's like I feel it's for some of you it's only been like eight days to two weeks but something about um 
this time apart has changed you and it's going to bring forth a heart to heart conversation and um again it's you guys are going to change how you've been doing something now for others of you this travel may have had to do with um a new job like going for a job interview and um you find out this first two weeks of march that you do you've got the job and uh, now you and your partner have to relocate and uh, maybe for you this means you have to leave your job and separate from uh, your family and that's you know bringing a lot of worry and concern to your mind but um, stay optimistic because I really feel like no matter what this is a positive thing for couples if you're coupled up no matter what's been going on there's this new energy with this ace of swords where it just like cuts the bullshit out and you guys move forward um, and through much easier energy and some of you I really feel like you're relocating because there's a job that has been obtained in a different location and this is going to require a lot of heart to heart uh, talking to each other because again I, I feel like one of you is more um, gung-ho to move and start a new beginning somewhere else whereas um, the other one is really concerned about family ties and the roots that are laid down where you're at and things like that. But I really do see you guys making the choice to sever your ties where you're at and relocate somewhere else. And this doesn't even have to be for a job. This could just be in general, like you guys are thinking that you need a change of pace and for some of you you may have been moved away because your partner is in the military and you as a couple have been separated from your family and now you guys have decided or you know your time in the service has ended and you're coming home and this is a brand new beginning for you guys and a whole change of lifestyle so Definitely a, a big change for cancer couples this first two weeks of um, March, and it, it does look very positive, okay? Even though I see you worrying about it, Spare's saying stay optimistic and open because it really does look like a positive change for you guys, okay? So I'm going to pull some additional advice for you guys from the um, Wisdom Oracle deck. Oh, let's see. Um... It looks like three cards wanted to come out. Okay, so <laughs> this is big time for those of you who are um, relocating or something along those lines. This, the first uh, Whispers of Love, I was only meaning to pull one, but three flew out, so you get three. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. So, um, if this is like a really big opportunity for your partner, be very supportive and flexible and I get like completely uprooting your life and changing everything is kind of like a big deal but I feel like this is a really good thing for you guys so be supportive and make the effort to show that yes even though this may be uncomfortable for you you're willing to be there and and um, you know be there for your partner and go the extra mile ask for help what is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. So this is where this heart-to-heart -heart conversation comes into play. You need to really express yourself to your mate and allow them to express themselves to you guys. And, um, you know, be supportive. Allow allow them to be there for you emotionally too, okay? I know you you want to be the strong one and hold it all together, but let them be there for you too. And for some of you, this is like um, your parents or your grandparents are actually going to offer you some sort of like uh, financial help or gift of some kind um, with whatever this transition is. So don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help if you need help. And lastly, Listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. So again, if you are like, oh my God, no, I don't want to leave my family. I don't want to leave my town. I don't want to leave my job. I don't want to, you know, sever all these ties. 
really hear your partner out. This, like I said, this is a really good move for you guys. Um, for those of you who are thinking about moving or changing job, whatever this huge transition or change is for you guys, it's a really good thing, okay? Be supportive of each other. Ask for help from other people if you need it, all right? And really listen with your heart and not your ears, but your heart, okay? So that is what I have um, as messages for cancer couples. I hope that this offered you advice and guidance and eases your mind and lets you know, yes, this is a really good move. Whatever it is, it's really good. Okay, trust in that. Have a very beautiful and blessed first half of March, Cancer. Take care.